Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Gerard Bertrand. I am here in the south of France at Chateau L'Hospitalet. I just want to say hello and thank you for my friends Chris and Marie at the Vine Vault because I'm very happy that you organized today a food and wine pairing very unusual to pair Thai food with the wine from the south of France is really amusing. And you know, especially now, I want also to say some more about the vintage because we are in, uh, at the end of the harvest and uh, it will be a great vintage and 2020 for white and rosé will be spectacular. For the red, we are still in progress, but it's very promising. And tonight, you will have the opportunity to make a pairing with uh, Chateau La Sauvageonne White 2018, Chateau Villemajou Red 2015, and Chateau Hospitalet Red 2017. This wine has been elected as the best red wine in the world by the International Wine Challenge. You know, with uh, Vanessa Keran and with Fergal Nolan, you will be able also to go deep into the detail of the wine. I wish you all the best. I cannot wait to welcome you in the south of France, I hope, next year. Enjoy the dinner, enjoy the food and wine pairing, and see you soon. Hi, it is such a pleasure to be amongst you with Fergal from Chateau L'Hospitalet. We are in the middle of our 2020 harvest and we're very excited to be able to share with you uh, some of our past vintages. So we're going to have a, a good wine tasting. Uh, we're going to try three different wines. We're going to try the Sauvageon in white. I'm going to go on to the Ville Maggio in red and onto the Chateau L'Hospitalet just at the end. Uh, you're going to try these, these wines for the food you're eating, the Thai food, which is a very, very interesting mix. Uh, and Vanessa is just going to talk a little bit about the terroir, a little bit. Right? Absolutely, for uh, Chateau La Sauvageon. can see Chateau La Sauvageon is uh, from the Terrasse du Larzac. It's a really magnificent terroir. Uh, we are on the foothills of the Massif Central. And what's interesting about this terroir is that we actually have two completely different uh, soil types right next to each other. So we have uh, the schist soil as well as Ruf, which is a volcanic type of uh, soil. So having this uh, side by side uh, gives us these really exceptional grapes uh, because we have the grapes being grown on the schist as well as on the volcanic soil. Makes me thirsty enough to try it. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so here we are then with the Sauvageon in 2018 in white. Now we have the three grapes of Viognier, Vermentino and the Grenache Blanc. Now if you look at the colour, nice golden colour, mm. uh, slightly reflected tints of, of green as well. I love this nose. We're going on to kind of a mango, apricot kind of side, uh, exotic fruit. There's a, a floral note as well, yeah. which is very lovely. Kind of almondy as well, mm -hmm. kind of, yeah, yeah. Um, I've forgotten how good this was. Mm. And in the milk, you can get the connection with the nose, where again, you have this exotic food coming out at the start. Uh, very, very 
good, good longness in the mouth with a nice little bit of fresher coming out at the end, a good freshness, kind of mineral inside, very slightly. Yeah, the Vermentino really helps bring out that, that yeah. freshness and that minerality. And then the Viognier with its tropical fruit notes is uh, mm, quite incredible, oh, that's, that's a beautiful delicious. blend. You made a good choice for the starter with this wine. Well done, guys. <laughs> Traditionally, we would pair this with uh, seafood, uh, some fish or some scallops, uh, sometimes in a tropical fruit sauce. So I believe uh, this was paired with a Tom Kagai, which yeah. would be absolutely beautiful. Should be interesting, should be interesting. Enjoy it. Bon appétit, as we say, bon appétit. If, you're, if you're eating at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> So now we will be tasting the 2015 Chateau de Villemajou Grand Vin. This wine comes from an exceptional terroir, which is located in the heart of the Corbière. It's actually in the Cru of Corbière called Boutenac. Uh, and Chateau de Villemajou is where everything started. This was uh, Gérard's father's winery, uh, where Gérard learned how to make wine. Uh, so we're very excited. The 2015 vintage is absolutely amazing. Thank you. Oh. You can definitely see a little bit of the age yeah, on the yeah, color. Yeah. It's starting to go a little to the bit. Nose. The nose is fantastic. Garnet. I love this nose. So here we have some, uh, some very old uh, Carignan vines, uh, centenary old Carignan vines, uh, also blended with Syrah and Grenache. And a little bit of Mourvedre as well. Mm. It's long, it's rich in the mouth. Mm. The fruits are really coming up at the back. You have the tannins, they're there, but they're very soft and they're not aggressive. And they just come up at the end to give it a bit kind of a spicy, peppery side as well. Mm. Gorgeous. So traditionally, I would pair this with a lamb, maybe with a bit of a, a rosemary hint with the lamb, just to mm -hmm. echo the garrigue that we find in this area, those uh, aromatic herbs. And just put a carrot or two on the side, just to say we're eating vegetables as well. <laughs> just to be healthy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> And now our 2017 Chateau L'Hospitalier Grand Vin from La Clap, where we are today. Uh, this wine, actually, we're very excited to taste this with you today because it won the best red wine in the world for the IWC competition. It was a fantastic uh, recompense for all the work that we've done over the last 25 years. Mm -hmm. um, and what's, what's amazing about this wine is 
that there's so many things going on from the nose into the mouth, uh, in the second mouth as well. There's so many things going on. If you, if you take it to the first nose, you have your tannins, you have your fruit, you have your oak, without one taste really dominating the others. And then, and you have it in your first mouth. Mm. Mm. Sorry, but I'm not speaking of this one. <laughs> this fruit coming up like a wave. Uh, it's like you're on the Atlantic coast. And this wave of fruit that comes up with the tannins that are still there. They're, they're, they're very generous tannins as well. Mm. But for me, it's, it's, it's this, this souplesse, it's the, the silk, the silky fruits that come up in the mouth. Oh, it's yeah. gorgeous, gorgeous. Yeah. For me, this is very much a, a vin de terroir. Mm -hmm. It's really a sense of place. When I'm uh, anywhere in the world, if I taste this wine, it brings me right back to Chateau d'Hospitalet because you just taste and you smell the garrigue that surrounds yeah. us, the Mediterranean Sea. There's a little saltiness on the finish of this wine. Mm. The limestone uh, soil, yeah, yeah, which yeah. just comes through with this minerality. It's uh, really, this, this wine is a sense of place, very much. And a sense of time. And a sense of time, sense absolutely, of time. Yeah. absolutely. Mm. Traditionally, I would pair this wine with a uh, Aubrac beef, uh, just uh, lightly done with a pinch of salt uh, from the mountains, some beautiful mountain salt. Uh, very simple, very clean, just to really bring out the, the wine and showcase the wine. I drink it on aperitif, on its own. <laughs> you know, when you have a group of friends around, absolutely. and instead of talking about the COVID and, uh, and whatever other problems going on in the world, Everyone's going to say, yeah, you get the saltiness, yeah, I get the fruit, yeah, I get the yolk. And it's, it's about that, it's about sharing. And that's what the wine is all about here with us as well. Absolutely. It's sharing the passion of the wine. And that's, that's why I say on a pair of teeth sometimes as well. It's beautiful. Mm. It was an absolute pleasure to be able to share these wines amongst you today. Uh, thank you to Fergal for being thank with you. us. Thank you. I, I re really had a good fun doing it as well. Uh, and. I know you know this guy, Chris, maybe a few others of you know him as well. Chef Laurent Chabert, our grand chef. Merci. You're welcome. <laughs> Bonjour à tous, j'espère que vous avez passé un, un agréable moment avec Vanessa et Fergal. Euh, maintenant, moi, c'est à moi de vous accueillir euh, dans quelques mois euh, ici au Château L'Hospitalet, avec une cuisine de terroir, une cuisine gastronomique euh, issue de plantes méditerranéennes et de produits méditerranéens, bien sûr, avec des petits producteurs. Donc, À l'année prochaine. I'll drink to that. Cheers. Santé. 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 Cheers. Cheers. And enjoy the ultimate French wine experience. Allez, good night, guys. Have good fun. Bye. See you soon.